A little time back I made a video about custom programs and how it was good practice to put your own custom programs into your dais. It's the easiest way to learn the machine and you begin to understand what each feature does. Now speaking to a lot of people, they just want some suggested settings to use as a base for their custom programs. So this video is all about simple suggested settings that actually work. Personally, I prefer a two-tone program with a high tone. And I know a lot of you guys out there also like to hear the high tone because that sonar program on the Deus One was so popular. So let's get into my suggested settings and show you how to adjust the tones on the Deus Two. Now this will also apply to the Deus One. Let's start by putting these simple tone settings into our Deus Two. Now with all these programs, you need to use a base program. So the base program today I'm gonna to be using is indeed the general program because it's got most of the features I already want such as ground subtraction. So okay, let's go straight into the menu, discrimination, expert, and you'll see three tones there appearing on the screen. We need to change that to two tones. So let's press the minus button. So two tones are now displaying, and now press the expert button just to make the changes to that second tone. The first tone is 202, which is absolutely fine. Let's press the down button. And you'll see there, the second tone is 518. Now we wanna change that to 881. So we change it by pressing the plus button all the way up to 881. There it is, 881, perfect. Let's go back, back again into the main features. Scroll down sensitivity 95, we're gonna leave that. Frequency shift, don't need to touch that. Iron volume, leave that. Reactivity is 2.5. Now, I think that's a real sweet spot, 2.5, so I'm gonna leave that as it is. So now you can see why I've used the general program as my base program, because nothing else really needs changing. Now, just a note on reactivity, I will change reactivity on certain sites. I will lower it on cleaner sites to give me a little bit more depth and I will raise it up to three on perhaps a busy Roman site. So what we've done now, we've made a general program with a two-tone audio. The second tone is nice and high. Let's go over to Steve and Paul and see what they think to these new settings. Hi Gary, yeah. Um, I'm just about to demonstrate the difference between the general program and the Nero One program that I use, which is slightly different than Gary's version. Mine has a more higher tone on the second tone. It's a really, really crisp high tone that suits my hearing better. I've buried a Roman coin here at four inches deep. It's an old Roman grot, and this is a nice little Roman site, quite contaminated. And I'll show you what it sounds like on the general. You'll see it sounds quite good, but it's just not good enough for my hearing. I prefer something with a higher tone to stop me in my tracks when I walk across a field. This is the general. Not bad. This is what it sounds like on the Nero One with the high tone that I use. You hear that? That stops me in my tracks as I'm walking across a contaminated Roman site. Nice high tone there in 70, 72, 71. Oh. I've had a little bit of rain so that <laughs> easy digging. Still in the hole. Ooh. 
It's in the bottom. Another one, which is nice. I think it might be a jetton. Oh, yeah, little jetton. Very much like Steve, I use the Nero program, but a slightly different platform. I use it based on the Deep HC program, which gives me a little bit more punch, a bit more depth. Thanks guys, that was really interesting. As you saw there, Steve prefers an even higher tone on that second tone, right to the top so it's nice and squeaky. And Paul likes to use the Deep HC as a bass line because the Deep HC uses a slightly lower to mid frequency range, what can give him more punch on that pasture. So let's show you how to put these same settings into the Deep HC program. Press the plus button until we get to Deep HC. Press the menu and we're in discrimination. You can see discriminations there is nine. Go down and we're already in two tones. So all we have to do is press the expert and down one more and change that two tone to 881. Eight eight one, perfect. Press the back key. Let's just have a little scroll down while we're in this menu. Bottle caps is off, which is good. Notch is off, which is good. Let's go back into the main menu and scroll down. Sensitivity, 93, leave that. Frequency shift, no. Iron volume, no. Reactivity on the DPHC is now two. I like to use that at 2.5. So I'm just going to go up one to 2.5, scroll down, audio response four, boom, boom. So what are the basic principles of this two-tone program? Well, it is what it says on the label, really. It's a simple two-tone, a low for iron and a high tone for the good stuff, the desired targets. There's no mid-tones or anything like that. It's just a simple yes and no program, which stops you in your tracks. Have a listen to the iron, first of all. And now the good tone, what we're looking for. Iron. High tone. And you can very easily use this program without the use of an RC. You can just use it audio only, it's that simple. Once you've made your custom adjustments, don't forget to save them. The general program, Nero 1. The Deep HC program, Nero 2. And then when you get a signal, you can compare the same signals by flicking between the two programs. So why is it named Nero 1 and Nero 2? Well, I gave Steve this program to test and he absolutely loved it and he found some nice coins. And his favorite emperor is Nero. So thanks to Steve, that's where we got that name from. Not really a custom program, more suggested settings if you like. So I'd like to thank Steve and Paul for their input in this video. And indeed, if you guys want to talk a little bit more about XP, why not go on to our Facebook groups? We've got XP Adventures, where you can show your XP finds, and we've got the Metal Detecting Skill School, where you can ask anything technical. The links will be below. But until then, guys, thanks for watching. I hope this little tone video has been of help and you can go out there and tweak your machine. And I'll see you on the next video when hopefully we'll be covering the reactivity.